Hello guys and welcome to another episode of Funko Pop Stars. Today we have a new Funko Pop investments for November 20, 23rd, 2020. So these are pops that are at a reasonably price point and stuff that I'm going to be collecting in the next couple months and stuff I highly recommend you picking up because these are going to be great Funko Pops for the future that I believe will go up in value. So if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and turn on all notifications so you don't miss out on when I drop one of my latest videos like today. And be sure to hit that like button. As always, guys, it helps the YouTube algorithm, helps me grow. And leave a comment down below. I really do appreciate everyone that does do that for the channel. And that's the, that, those are the ways you guys can help the channel grow. Anyways, let's get into this Funko Pop inv investments for November 23rd, 2020. First on our list today is Santa Stitch with Scrum. And this one is trending at $26. Uh, this was released this year and it obviously depicts Stitch holding Scrum. The reason why I would start investing in uh, some Christmas pops like these, especially ones that you like. One, they're great for decorations if you decorate your house with pops. Um, you have to go, you don't have to go crazy with it. But uh, this one, I believe, is reasonably priced and could shoot up to forty dollars. I said that with the Halloween stitch when Halloween was around, and it did shoot up about ten bucks more than was previously. Um, and so I highly recommend to. I think this is the only Christmas Funko Pop I have on here today. But I would start looking into, you know, since it is, it's about to turn Christmas and I would start picking these up before December. Some of these will make great Christmas gifts, um, but I am starting to get in the Christmas spirit. I haven't collected Christmas Funko Pops in the past, but I believe that that's going to be a hit. Here we have the Wolverine Unmasked Brown Suit released this year in 2020. And this is going for $25. This Funko Pop looks great i say that a lot but this one does look fantastic and to get it 10 bucks over what you paid off the funko shop i would definitely go for it if you can um these this pop i believe is going to continue to go up in value so huge x-men fan myself personally and was excited when this one released everybody knows about the mandalorian flame thor and anytime you can get uh, exclusive let alone a target exclusive for a great deal I would look into it and this one is going for it's trending at $20 right now obviously it's a Star Wars Funko Pop Mandalorian the new series is out right now it's making some great headways I've seen all the episodes so far think that they've done an excellent job they can continue to grow this series I, I really want them to step it up, like do something really dramatic in the next episode. I've, but I, I seriously have enjoyed it and I enjoy these Funko Pops. Highly recommend to uh, pick up the flamethrower while it's at a great price right now. I've actually been watching reruns of The Office and I believe this is in season two. Um, oh no, 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 this is in season two. Season two is the three hole punch gym. He just is up as the Halloween one. But anyways, the book Chase is going for 20 bucks right now, guys. That is crazy. Released it last year in 2019, this would, was trending at $60 at one point. And uh, for me personally, I'm just like snagging some of these up because I just know The Office, if I was stranded on an island, Desert Island, The Office is the number one show, movie series, whatever, that I would take with me because I was dying laughing all this week because it's just a great series. So if you haven't seen it, go pick up this pop, go watch the series, it's fantastic. Wreck-It Ralph uh, with the cherry pie. We actually have two Wreck-It Ralphs right now. If you've never seen Wreck-It Ra Ralph, it's a great um, animated uh, movie. And this one has a Hot Topic exclusive, only $9. The reason why I have this one on here because the other Wreck-It Ralph has, is trending at some um, value right now. And I think this one looks better in my personal opinion. The box art is fantastic. Everything's great about this one. And this is the one that's actually older because this one was released in 2013. This, the previous one was released in 2018. But you can see that this one is older, classic looking. Box kind of looks like a pizza uh, hut box sort of and or even like a checker box. And this one trends at 47. And so 
Uh, if you have seen the movie or your kids love Wreck-It Ralph, great Christmas gifts, um, great pops to have in your collection. And here is one that uh, is a snag right now. I didn't look at what the werewolf was going at, but when these two released, these were in the 100s. These still trend pretty high for Funko Shop exclusive Scooby-Doo. So this is a glow-in-the-dark um, Scooby-Doo Funko Pop released in 2019, trending at $80. I, um, I don't think that's a bad price point for this. And definitely, if you can get it a little bit cheaper, make some offers, make some deals, this one could sit in your collection for years and years and look great. And then obviously we have Scrabby Doo, another Funko Shop exclusive. And uh, this one was released in 2019 as well. And going for what I already said, $49. Yeah. So if you're a fan of Scooby Doo, I mean, if not, then you know, whatever, you pass on them. But I just think that the, especially the Funko Shop exclusives, are going to just continually to trend up in value and you don't want to sleep on these. Um, snack, crackle, and pop cereal three pack Funko Pops 42. Um, this is a low point for these, and uh, this is obviously a classic pop ad icons for Rice Krispie treats. And if anybody loves Rice Krispies, another great Christmas gift. Um, even people that don't collect pops heavily, or even that don't like them, um, if you get them something of their childhood, then it brings back some nostalgia and they'll end up keeping it. This is one of the better three packs out there, in my opinion. So, I uh, love Rice Krispies. Now we're going to be talking about some Wonder Woman Funko Pops because Wonder Woman 84 is about to release in theaters. Is it this month that it's releasing? Or it's, it's coming soon, so you can go to the theaters and watch it in some areas, or you can watch it on HBO if you have it. Um, and that's where it's released. I can't remember the exact date. If somebody knows the exact date when this is coming out, let me know in the comments. But this movie is going to be great. The actors and actresses in this movie, fantastic. I just think the movie itself is going to skyrocket in the box offices. And so with that, I think a lot of people are going to want these Funko Pops. Here are some of my favorite and some of the ones I'm picking up right now. Um, one of my favorite pops of the New York Comic Con. This is the actual con sticker. This was released this year for 2020 New York Comic Con Glow in the Dark. And it's her with her lasso. It's lasso of truth. And then it looks like it's holding like a lightning bolt or something box art on the Wonder Woman 84 are some of the best, uh, the, some of the best artwork out there. And then we have some more great artwork in her and her golden armor. Some of uh, there's a lot of different ones you could get with the golden armor, but definitely go for some of the exclusives. This is an Amazon exclusive. All these were released this year. Um, another one of my favorite, or was that Amazon? Let me go back one. Yeah, I believe, yeah, this one's Amazon and this one is, are these two the same? Yeah, they're the same actually. So I put both of these on twice. And I don't know why one's 15 and one's 10. Is there something different about these? I must admit, I think I might have uploaded the wrong one. Anyways, you guys get the idea. Go collect some Wonder Woman 84 Funko Pop exclusives. Now, dude, this one's only eight bucks. And this is one that I would be buying up. Buying up. Um, they did make about what? I think they have all together between 10 and 15 common and exclusives. Um, if you're looking to add value to your collection, then just go for the exclusives. The common ones I would stay away from. They're, they're just mass produced. And uh, anyways, uh, this is my favorite one. You got the full golden armor with the helmet. The wings are out, the lasso in the hand. It just pops with the box art. Um, looks great. Only going for $8. Can't complain. But that concludes it for today's episode of Funko Pop Investments for November 23rd, 2020. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, share this video with your friends, comment down below if you have any of these or looking forward to picking any of these bad boys up. As always, guys, stay safe out there. Beg by beg, collect all them pops. I will see you next time on another episode of Funko Pop Investments. There's some good news coming out as far as Funko Pop wise that I hope to make a video on tomorrow on this stuff. So stay tuned for that and peace. I'll see you next time. I'm out.